Morning guys, it's Ian Coleman. It is Wednesday the 23rd of June 2021. A uh, very sunny day here in Sheffield. Uh, quarter to nine in the morning in the UK. Uh, I've been asked by a few uh, of the people that follow me on YouTube uh, to try and get the videos out uh, actually uh, before I get into the trade, i.e. highlighting the trigger levels uh, that I'm uh, looking at. So that's what I'm go going to endeavour uh, to do this morning. Um, first of all, uh, my focus is on uh, sterling. Now let's break down the time frames. We've got this uh, formation here. Um, we stalled at a 78.6% uh, pullback level. What I've been trying to do is been trying to trade uh, this leg uh, to the downside, this BC leg. Now, if we can move aside, we can see that that's overextended. We're actually uh, moving up until that level uh, now. Um, but the potential, if we um, do uh, grab this uh, move to the downside, is quite decent. I mean, in percentage percentage terms, what are we looking at? We're looking at about 37% devaluation uh, from current levels. So um, quite fruitful to try and uh, catch a, uh, a downward move in sterling. And basically what I had planned out was this leg and we had started moving lower. Uh, the video uh, on Monday uh, when we did the Monday morning update we said that we'd like to play uh, the CD leg uh, to the downside and although uh, we've started to move to the downside you can see we've had a, quite a decent reversal uh, and we've moved higher and in fact uh, we highlighted this on Monday and we never trade into these and this is uh, what's known as a perfected uh, candle and this is down here and that normally is seen uh, at the end of a trend <clears throat> and the start of a new uh, upward bias but what I am seeing now is um, the potential uh, for a reversal so basically sticking my extension tool on here extension tool to there not the best pattern, I must admit, but I've also uh, been perfected up here. So basically I'm now looking uh, for um, single currencies uh, that will uh, likely move in the opposite direction. So if I'm selling sterling, obviously I want to be buying uh, something else as a counter currency. Um, dollar is really in, not in no man's land, but it's going in the same direction as sterling. Uh, if you've been following me, you'll know that we believe, or I believe, that we're in this pattern to the downside. So we're pushing lower uh, to uh, form uh, this pattern. It could be quite an aggressive move to the downside. So um, again, the dollar has nothing for me. Uh, the euro, I believe, is interesting. So we have this potential pattern. It's on the four-hour chart. So we've got the potential for a bullish scenario in euro. And again, we talked about that earlier in the week because uh, we, um, we were interested in long positions in Euro against the US dollar. Um, that scenario has not changed. This is a shorter time frame. I think we could see a, a mild downward dip um, to get uh, long of Euro. So this corrective and very choppy move uh, may not be finished. This last move could be seen in three waves, but there's no uh, sort of sim pattern uh, currently. Uh, forming, so I'd actually prefer to get in uh, on a further dip. So there's potential for euro sterling, so buying euro against selling sterling, and we'll look at that um, currency cross in a second. Uh, sterling is obviously what we're in. Swiss, I think he's already moving to the downside. Remember, we said that we've got quite a strong weekly resistance zone, so we don't really want to be getting involved in that. Yen is quite interesting, that's getting towards. Uh, some quite critical levels. This dotted line here uh, breaks account, uh, but again, 78.6%, 88.6%. If we can get in between those two uh, fibs, uh, then basically we form the uh, BC leg of this pattern and yen goes higher. Um, Canadian dollar, I'm going to whip through these. That's got nothing to offer me. Again, we had perfected nine there and it's moved higher. 
If anything, I think Canadian dollar could potentially move a little bit lower uh, off uh, this 61.8%. So again, it's in the same direction as sterling, so I don't want to be taking it. Aussie dollar, Aussie dollar, um, still in a downward uh, move. Um, I can't see uh, any particular reason why I'd want to change uh, that outlook. And again, if New Zealand dollar was down here, then sterling New Zealand might be worth a look. But at the moment, it's in no man's land. So basically, if we're looking for a bearish scenario in sterling, the only two currencies uh, that are showing me a, a, a counter or a potential counter trend trade is the euro uh, and the yen. So let's have a look at, uh, let's go to euro sterling first. And this is the favoured one. Uh, I have put set some orders this morning um, and um, I haven't been triggered as yet. Um, this is a potential daily chart. So again, let's just put on the 78.6. He says, come on, having issues with my charting package a little bit. So basically that's 88.6. I think 78.6 will come in around here. So there is potential for this scenario uh, pushing all the way uh, up uh, towards 91.48. So obviously catching this leg is is very favourable indeed. If we go down to this time frame, um, we've got the potential uh, for this pattern, and this shows the 88.6 and 78.6, so we don't actually need to go back to that uh, that formation. So what we've got here is uh, we've got uh, a, a potential uh, Gartley formation around about 85.25. Uh, so 85. 25, 85, 17, I believe, is the zone. So yeah, so I've just put that 127.2 on. So 85, 25, 85, 17 is the zone. And I'm basically looking to fade uh, a move uh, in that area there for a potential move to the upside and potential long-term move to the upside. Uh, it's always, especially when you look at sterling and you sort of see the rally that we've seen up this morning, it's normally when uh, it looks extremely bullish that it's actually one of the times where it turns around um, and um, this move uh, to the downside i've been waiting for it for quite some time we've had some pop ch choppy price action and we're getting some driving we're getting some force in that move this morning but i think it will um, turn around well, i'm hoping it will anyway so sterling yen uh, i think we need to go into big picture analysis here um, this is a confluence zone, it's a very nice confluence zone. So we've made this pattern, uh, and again, that's a bearish butterfly formation. Now, we've had a move to the downside, and we've had this aggressive move up this week, um, and that's both on yen and, and on sterling um, strength. Uh, but if we go to this chart, this is what I'm trying to highlight. This could be just the AB leg, and then we're coming up to the BC leg. And if you remember, if you watched some of the videos before, I always say if you can catch the BC leg between 78.6% and 88.6%, then your um, risk reward factor uh, can be very substantial, i.e., let's just break this down into 480. So you can see the bigger sound. Retracement. So 78.6%, 88.6% of this move could form the BC leg. And then I want to just come out a little bit. And I'll say that this is the pattern. Of the first target. And then I use a short trade indicating tool. Stop above the high. Because if, if it goes above the high, then that's no longer a BC leg. So you can see here, 8.2 um, R. So you, everything you risk, if you risk a pound, you've got the potential to get uh, just over eight pounds back for your quid or your euro or your dollar. And these are the setups 
that are extremely uh, beneficial when they come off. And to have a flat book, you only need to get one in eight correct to not lose money, which is also quite pleasant. Um, so that's what I'm looking at. This was a member of Perfected Area on Monday. Um, and we moved to the upside. I don't know what's happened there. Um, let's start with that. Um, and again, we're between that 78.6% and 88.6%. So just to reiterate what we're talking about, a lot of currency pairs, um, especially the dollar, if you weren't already in it, um, are really in no man's land at the moment. Sterling is looking interesting. Sterling crosses that I'm focusing on today are sterling yen and euro sterling, uh, both for long-term pictures, not for short, short-term uh, in and out trades. Okay, guys, I hope that makes sense. Um, good luck with your trading. I'm now away for a couple of days for my wife's birthday. We're going down to the Cotswolds. Uh, I'm back on uh, late Thursday. Uh, no, not actually. I'm back Friday. Um, so I'll try and post something on Friday afternoon for the weekly, weekly roundup. Okay, good luck uh, and speak again soon.